Climate change, it's a term we hear every day. But what does it really mean for people, for their everyday health and well-being? The climate crisis presents the most crippling health challenge of the 21st century, jeopardizing vital aspects of human existence, including our very environments. The air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we bathe and drink. Even the security of our houses and our very lives are threatened by an increasing number of extreme weather events, heat waves, floods, cyclones, storms, wildfires, and what have you. My home, India, is especially susceptible to these impacts on health and human life. Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Chaudhary, a public health specialist leading Swasti, a global public health organization working to add 100 million healthy days for some of the world's most vulnerable people. In the course of my work, I see the effects climate has on people up close. The environment is not just taking a toll on people's health. It's also altering food habits, livelihoods, safety, security, relationships, and social structures. Now, I'm hitting the road to see how climate impacts health and well-being across the country. I want to hear from health workers, people in their communities, homes, and in their workplace. In this video, hear what people in their communities and homes experience in the face of climate change. उससे क्या हुआ कि एक तो टूरिज्म कम हो गया और दूसरा कि जब लेट बर्फ होती है तो पानी का भी इशू होता है और जो हमारे जो यहाँ सरमाकार वो है एप्पल ज़्यादा हम कश्मीर में ज़्यादा एप्पल उसपे भी असर पड़ गया इस महीने में सबसे ज़्यादा सब्जी अच्छी होती थी लेकिन इस साल नहीं हुई सबसे ज़्यादा हेल्थ इशू इस वक्त जेंड के में है India was ranked the seventh most vulnerable country to climate impacts. Millions of vulnerable people living on daily wages and fighting poverty will face massive reversals in their health, livelihood and life prospects if this situation continues. Delayed snowfall, so has this affected agriculture and how has it affected your friends and family or your business? Yeah, no, actually we can say that the Kashmir is fully dependent on uh, the tourism sector and we just we were getting lots and lots of uh, bookings in the month of December. So due to the delay in the snowfall, all the bookings got cancelled due, due to which the tourism sector was hit in that time. Okay, so, uh, Those who have, who have asthmatic problems, na, they just feel uh, very, much, very much difficulty in breathing due to the air pollution. কিন্তু তবু হয় আর কি যেখানে অনেক গরম বা অনেক ঠান্ডা এটা আমার যখন পরিবর্তন হয় বতরে যেটা পরিবর্তন হয় বতরের পরিবর্তনে কিছু না কিছু বেমার বা কি বা কি হয়ে যায় টেম্পারেচার এত হাই रहता है कभी ज्यादा हो जाता है कभी कम होता है उस कारण क्या है कि शरीर मेंटेन नहीं कर पाता उन चीज़ों को क्योंकि बे बे मौसम बारिश होती है तो प्रॉब्लम होती है उल्टे दस्त वगैरह लगते हैं और पानी की कमी हो जाती है चक्कर भी आते हैं और ये थोड़ी हार्ट प्रॉब्लम भी हो रही है अब अभी बहुत ज़्यादा हार्ट प्रॉब्लम हो रही है घबराहट के मारे 
हैं ये जो एरिया है इस्लाम एरिया है ठीक है ज़्यादा यहाँ पे कोई कुछ जानता नहीं है क्योंकि वो चीज़ जब तक मालूम ही नहीं होगी उसका इलाज कैसे हो पाएगा वी हर्ड फ्राम पीपल इन दम्यूनिटीज आई एम अफ्रेड दैट इफ दीज कम्यूनिटीज डोंट हैव द रिसोर्स टू अडेप्ट टू क्लाइमेट चेंज दर हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग कुड बी एट सीरियस रिस्क Extreme weather events like floods or heat waves can lead to injuries and stress-related illnesses. Unstable weather patterns might cause water contamination and food insecurity, resulting in increased rates of waterborne diseases and malnutrition. Without urgent adaptation and early warning systems, these communities are also more likely to experience poor mental health due to constant uncertainty and economic strain. But all is not lost. Addressing these health risks requires a coordinated effort to support and protect these vulnerable communities. Together, we can find ways to build resilience to a rapidly changing climate and create a healthier, more sustainable future for all of us. Are we ready for what is to come? Do we have it in us to do what it takes?